Hello everybody. Um, today's video is gonna be quick and easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's gonna be an empties video. Just gonna talk about the trash that I collected. You know when you when you actually think about it, it's really strange that we'll keep our trash. Just to share with you guys what we used up. I don't know. It's trash. You either recycle it or throw it out if it can't be recycled. If you heard that, that was our dog. And now she's at the door. I can't win. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with her. She just wants to be with me all the time. Yeah, as I was saying, I collected my trash to share with you guys. Even though I have no viewership. But let's get into it. This mic picks up every dang noise. So annoying. But I have, these curls, man. I haven't um I totally lost my train of thought. Let's start over. Okay. So I wanna share with you guys all of my empties. And um I'm gonna start off with like body care and hair care. Cause yeah. You know, well actually I think that's about 50-50 with skincare. I barely have any makeup empties. I'm working really hard with my project here, guys, but I'm not very good at wearing makeup consistently because I don't go anywhere, especially because, you know, quarantine. But yeah, the first item I'm going to share is this SPF Sport from Juice Beauty. It smells like grass. It's a mineral SPF, so it is a little hard to rub in, but um, I quite enjoyed it. I used the last bit of it last year on my Hawaii trip, which is, was in August. Oh my gosh, that was almost a year ago already. I miss Hawaii. I would like to go visit again, but um, this doesn't smell like sunscreen. It smells like freshly mowed grass to me. So if that's something that piques your interest, you know, try it out. Yeah, so it smells like, it smells like greenery, like nature. I would repurchase and it's not that expensive. I have used up two of the Honey Pot Company Normal Wash Feminine Care. I got the sensitive one also. The normal one works perfectly fine for me. And I like their tagline. It says, made by humans with vaginas for humans with vaginas. You know, that's the kind of stuff you want to see when you're, when you're taking care of your feminine stuff, you know. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. But I really enjoy this. I did repurchase it already, but they did reformulate. I'm not sure if I see much of a difference yet. I still haven't finished the newest bottle, but um, yeah, they did reformulate it for some reason, which I'm kind of curious as to why, but I still like it. And it is a black owned business and woman owned because you know it's made by vaginas. I should probably stop saying that word. But you know, it's made for your honey pot. And I do believe it's a black owned fan. So that's awesome. In my petty board box, I got these, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, Rawa? Rawa? I don't know. But I got a shampoo conditioner. I think I also used these up on the Hawaii trip. No, I used it up on my cruise last year in November. You know, Petty Four, like the travel sizes you get in there, they come in handy every time for me. But unfortunately, I would not purchase the full size of this. My curls tend to be very dry. And I need a shampoo that will moisturize them properly. And the conditioner and shampoo combination, these two did not work for my hair. This says for healthy, lustrous hair. Maybe it'll work for like thin hair, straight hair, better. Hair that doesn't need as much, as much moisture. So that's that. And I also got from my Pity Bore Box a Peppermint Lava Salt Hand and Body Soap from Moon River Naturals. And it's a glass bottle. I believe this is recyclable, right? Actually, oh, 
recyclable. Totes can recycle that. Don't know if this is recyclable, but maybe I could try. I'll figure it out. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I would repurchase the full size. It's, it's minty. It gives me a fresh, clean feeling. I just, I think I love everything with peppermint for the most part. It just makes you feel clean and fresh. And it just, it's like very invigorating and uplifting to smell. So I loved using this in the shower and it, I think it had like a nice foaming, if I remember correctly. It was just an all around nice experience for me. Would repurchase. Yes, indeed. I think that was it for like the body and hair. I'm gonna move on to skincare. And I, uh, I finished this seriously soothing cleansing cream from A Cure. Uh, it made my skin nice, supple, and soft, but I got that tight, dry feeling afterwards at the same time, which was weird. So, unfortunately, I would not repurchase. But this is a very affordable brand, and they have assortment of other ones that I would like to try. So um, they're not out of the like the ball game yet. Yeah, you know? I'll still give more from this brand a try. And they have like a bunch of like skin oils, and they're very affordable. So I'm like, I want to try all those too. Moving on, I have let's see, three items for one of my favorite skincare brands, Bamboo Earth. I used up their rose water cleanser. This stuff, I loved using in the morning. Not at night, because when I, if I had makeup on and stuff, I don't know, I just, I preferred this in the morning. And it was just, there's still a little bit left in there. I probably should use that up, don't want to be wasteful, you know. But it's just, it smells slightly astringent, if that makes sense. But let me see what the ingredients in. Rose, Sensifolia flower water, glycerin, vegetable, vegetable derived, <laughs> melaleuca, alter, uh, tea tree leaf oil. I don't know why I tried to pronounce that. That's that's the, the smell. I'm smelling the tea tree. This was very good in the morning. Plus moisturizer. I liked it. It did the deed of uh, cleansing my face in the morning. Getting all those oils and sleepness off me. Um, I also had their rosemary toner. I also enjoyed this very much. I think this has apple cider vinegar in it. Yep. Raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I don't know. I like practically everything I've tried from this brand if I'm being honest. That's why it's my favorite skincare brand. But yeah, I would, I would repurchase both and give them another whirl. So maybe I can get like a better idea of like how much they're doing for my skin, but no. I think actually I would repurchase this now because it's pH balancing, alcohol free, and I feel like it'd be really good for like my skin right now since I'm having like some acne problems, hormonal acne on this area. But love that. And I used up this travel size version of their reparative oil. It's repairing facial oil. I don't know why I said reparative. But this stuff. Everything from this brand also smells very earthy, herbal, floral. Just everything from the earth and I love it. it smells natural. Everything is ethically sourced, sustainable packaging. Woman owned. And I just love it. And then they make it in the US. That's an A++ right there. Another toner that I tried was this Derma E Radiance Toner and um, Glycolic Acid with Rooibos. I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, but I like the tea. And I also like this toner. I definitely noticed from this little travel size, sample size that I got in my Petty Bore box once again. Petty Bore is the best. I do have an affiliate link down below, which I think is pretty cool because I love them. And I'm also always talking about them, which I I swear, I can't help it, I love them. But yeah, back to this <laughs> product. I, I like went off track there. But um, 
I definitely noticed a change. I, I want to buy the full sizes. I forgot I had used this stuff. I still have a little more. I don't know. I need to use that up too, but I definitely noticed a like nice glow to my skin. And I'm pretty sure the glycolic acid was very helpful in, you know, keeping your skin renewed and supple. Another toner that I got, once again, Petty Bore. I should probably just stop saying it. if you see like small sizes like this, most likely I got her from a Petty Bore box. But this is a, a Car Skin Balanced and uh, it smelled delicious. It was very refreshing. And I don't know what else you can really say about a toning mess because it's, if I usually like the scent and it's like refreshing feeling, I'm gonna love it before I put on my moisturizer and it just helps you know, everything to penetrate your skin barrier better. So that was a good toner too. Would repurchase. Didn't do anything weird to my skin. No reactions. It was lovely. So yes, I would repurchase. The French Girl Late the Rose Vitamin C Polish and Wash. This stuff was amazing. I used it a couple times a week after cleansing my face. Especially on days if I was wearing like thick makeup. But this stuff. I usually don't like physical exfoliants, but I love this stuff. And yes, I would repurchase. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been thinking about this. I need another physical physical or chemical a new exfoliator for my skin. So I don't know I don't know how well this would do with like if it would be a good idea if you have active breakouts. I think with that kind of stuff I'd rather do use a chemical, but this stuff was gentle and it definitely like cleared out my pores and smoothed the skin. Like if I had any dry patches, this baby got rid of them without making my skin feel dry or taut. Another one that I love. Um, I really don't want to butcher the name, so if you guys can just like look at it. You see that? It's a Hawaiian brand, I believe. I also use it in Hawaii. Perfect, perfect cleanser for the morning. It's so creamy and luscious and moisturizing, and it just made me feel ready for the day. I really actually, I couldn't get the last little bit out. This little nozzle, I think. It still smells good. <laughs> Another product I have to actually finish up. I didn't realize how much I had left in there because it was all like around the, you know, just around the glass. Oh, glass packaging. Great. I forget how loud the air conditioning is. Jeez Louise. Definite repurchase. My skin loved it. On to something that I did not like so much. This. I think it's Air NYC African Black Soap Active Face Wash. It stung my eyes and unfortunately, it also dried out my skin. And even though I have a skincare routine where I put moisturizer on so my skin doesn't stay dry, uh, I still, I still unfortunately wouldn't repurchase this. And it's a foaming wash, so typically I'd stay away from these. Once again, uh, I got it in my petty board box because I don't think I'll ever buy a foaming cleanser myself, like purposely. Just cause they just always dry out my skin. I don't think it's for my skin type. Last skincare product is this Kahina Giving Beauty Argan Oil. This stuff was glorious. It was beautiful. All this stuff I forgot. I forgot about I need to make a, like a list of things that I love. So if ever I run out of something and I want to go back to a tried and true, I'll go back to this. It sings right into your skin. And just argan oil in general is just like a perfect oil. You know, I hear a lot of people talk about this oil. Not this brand specifically, but just argan oil. If it wasn't already obvious, yes, I would repurchase because I love dousing myself in oil. And that one wasn't too thick. It actually sunk into my skin, so it was perfect. Last four items are makeup products. I finished up a mascara. That's like one of the easiest makeup products to freaking finish. This is Flower Beauty. And I'm not gonna repurchase it. No particular reason. I find a hard time finding mascaras doing anything amazing for me anyways. I did enjoy it. It was a good mascara. Actually, 
I'll get back to you if I repurchase it. You might just end up seeing. I have to look at the ingredients because I'm trying to be more ingredient conscious. So that's on standby, depending. I may or may not repurchase. Rose Glow Mist, I love this stuff. Is there a fly in here? Oh no, that's her snoring. <laughs> that's cute. Okay, Pixie Skin Treats Rose Glow Mist. I use this as a makeup setter. Uh, melted the powders right into my skin when I used to wear powders. So that's why I loved it. I haven't used it in forever because I don't know how long it's been sitting in this bag where I was collecting my trash. Beautiful product. I also have to look into the ingredients. But I think that was one of the ones that I could use. The other skin mist from Pixie, I was just like, there's ingredients in there. I was a little iffy about. Use up another mascara. I think I would repurchase this. It's from Harvest Beauty. I think it's Harvest Natural. I might be getting that completely wrong. It's Harvest Beauty, I got it. Um, from a Petty Board box. There we go again. Um, it smells like vanilla. I really like this mascara. I think I would repurchase just because it smells good. <laughs> and it has great ingredients. Um, last product is my glossy boy brow, which I am sad to say that I used up. I used it up a while ago and I keep trying to keep using it. Even though there's like not really any product left in here. But my brows miss you. <laughs> I love it so much. Moving on. That's it. That was everything in my trash. I really hope the next one that I do will have actual makeup products in it. Like I've hit pan on something, you know? I, I just want to feel accomplished in that. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.